good news uh, in a sense i suppose don't know if this is really of interest to anyone else bar me and maybe paul <laughs> What's up bloggers, happy Thursday, uh, late update for me today, it's, uh, well it's almost 8 o'clock, it's 5 to 8, uh, today's vlog has just gone live um, and the social promotion has been done, no other excuse than I was working today, um, so it was late getting everything edited and done, but it's live, it's okay, half 8 is the real kind of major deadline because that's when the social promotion is automatically set to go out, so I like to make sure that the freshest vlog goes into that, but anyway, that's done happy days um i won't be doing a whole lot else uh but up since five again i'm not sleeping great lately so this is a bit of a problem for me i don't really have the brain capacity for anything else and i'm back up at 6 a.m good news uh in a sense i suppose don't know if this is really of interest to anyone else bar me and maybe paul but i have bought a camera still shooting on my iphone the camera won't arrive probably until next week um, so today's Thursday. I'm not expecting it until Tuesday or Wednesday, but I'm very pleased. I got a fantastic deal um, on Amazon. So I had been looking at a lot of cameras. Um, I wasn't sure really what I wanted to get. <sighs> really, it kind of came down to that it had to have the flip screen. So I could shoot like this and still see the way I can see now on my iPhone. I can see the frame. Uh, so I needed a camera to be able to do that. Um, so that really narrowed it down to kind of Canon really. Um, specifically more of the more recent models. Now the 700D, 750, 760 and then you're looking at the 70D or the 80D before you start going into ridiculous money. So I've kind of spent a bit of time looking at them and really settled on the 750D, which is the Rebel T6i, I believe it's called, in the States. And settled on that because it pretty much has everything I need, um, including the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, which the 700 didn't have, which put me off. Um, and I decided to go with that one. And... It comes with a kit lens, which really isn't a whole, let's say a whole lot of use, okay for photography starting out. Um, but because I wanted it for video, uh, I decided to get the 50mm fixed lens. I've got a Rode shotgun mic coming with it and a Manfrotto um, mini kind of tripod for it. So, oh, and I also got a connector so I can hook up the lav mic I'm using now at the moment, my Rode lav, Smart Lav Plus uh, that goes into my iPhone. I got a connection so I can actually plug that into the DSLR as well if I choose to do so, if I don't want to walk around with the big shotgun mic on. So, having looked around and priced everything up, um, for what I, oh, and a memory card, a 32 gig uh, SD card. Um, so, pricing all that up, um, it was coming in quite expensive. Um, I mean, to give you an idea, the camera to buy in a camera store here um, with just the kit lens was 850 euro. Um, which, you know, if that's what they cost, that's what they cost. Um, I've no problem with paying the going rate. Um, but having dug around on Amazon and been monitoring it for a while, Today was the day that um, a seller in the UK was selling a brand new one. Um, it's not not used and like new or used brand new. It's completely, has never been taken out of the box. Box has never been opened, sealed, the whole lot. Um, with the kit lens for 500. Which is a marked difference. So I got the 50mm fixed lens as well, which instead of costing 140 euro, I think cost me 100, and the shotgun mic and stuff like that. Basically, I worked it out that I'm probably saving somewhere in the region of about 3, 350. Now the reason I'm saying that is the reason of that because a lot of the shops you'll go in and when you buy all this gear together, excuse me, they'll discount it. 
a little bit. But it's done. It's all got. Can't wait to get it. So yeah, that's it for me today. Not a whole lot going on. Um, a little bit worried about Tuesday, next Tuesday's article. Um, but hopefully, uh, I can sort that out on the weekend. Actually, that reminds me. Let's go and have a look at Paul's article, which is published today. Uh, check that one out. So yeah, listen, I'm going to wrap it up there, folks. I'm going to go and chill out for the rest of the evening, early night tonight, I think, trying to get some sleep back up at uh, 5 a.m., so uh, trying to get some decent sleep for the first time all week, and I'll chat to you tomorrow. Right, uh, I know I said I was finished, but that was a lie. It wasn't an intentional lie, but uh, it just kind of has a way of dragging you back in. I was kind of just looking at some stuff and one of the things I've been meaning to get around to doing was creating an end screen for our YouTube videos. So I had an idea how to do this relatively simply. So what I've done is, um, actually let me show you, I'll just jump onto the computer here, it might be a bit easier. So what I've done is I have gone into Snapper and I've just kind of created this YouTube thumbnail sized image um, with a little watch more bar up here. I subscribe to Content Academy and then learn more. Uh, and the colors are the three minute blogger colors. And what I've done is I've exported this here as a PNG file, meaning everything that you see that is white bar the writing um, will be transparent. So then once I've done that, I have a kind of a time lapse of, uh, of me working at the desk here. Um, which is from oh a while ago on the vlog and I have that playing on a kind of a 20 second loop and then I've overlaid this graphic here on to that so let me show you so here it is here so I've overlaid this this is the, the graphic that I created you can see it's here uh, this is the, the, the transparent background and uh, that's 20 seconds. The main reason that's 20 seconds is because our end screen is 20 seconds. So, so really the idea here then is to put that 20 second loop at the end of every video. And the space on the right hand side of the screen, I can put in two videos. So two suggested videos for people to watch next. The subscribe to Content Academy will have a, a button to subscribe. The learn more will link to the sign up page with a 30 minute blogger. So uh, if you hang around until the end of today's vlog, you'll get to see that in full action because today is the first day I'm using it. So yeah, let me know what you think of that. Now it is quarter past nine and I'm definitely done. Hello, it's late. It is heading on a quarter to two in the morning. My, my blog post on social media automation is done. Thankfully, finally got there. Um, there is a glow in the photo because Phil doesn't like just when I have a floating head. So there's a spinning globe as well to hopefully add to the shot. So um, automation of social media as well as writing about. And it's kind of a little bit due to this because as Carla Skill said in episode 60 of our of the Content Academy podcast is that you know social media never sleeps and it's fitting that I'm discussing that at such a late hour and you know you could be targeting somebody in South America you might also maybe have some audience in Europe or even um, I suppose the USA um, and using tools to automate your social media updates means you're able to get content out at the right times to people in these different locations it's not a silver bullet there are a lot of things that a lot of problems that can be caused if you do it incorrectly but you know it certainly is worthwhile for bloggers who have a lot of content which is evergreen uh, and can be useful uh, to new followers um, as as and when that content is recycled because if somebody comes along and follows you and you know you have a lot of great content from a couple of years ago and it's never posted on social media it's well hidden within your blog it could be maybe 20 posts back people probably won't find it so speak about that in a little bit more detail other stuff um my social promotion images are done for the blog post which is great um they're scheduled for twitter and for facebook so i did three of each and that's all done um i've made a unique um 
email sign up so it'll be interesting to track how that's going i created some new ones last week which didn't perform as well as i had expected to so it was a bit of a surprise so it's been another tweak on that and yeah i mean look that's that's essentially it you know um i'm gonna leave it there um i look forward to chatting to you tomorrow <laughs>